Presentations, Introduction Presenting and public speaking aren't everyone's forte, but it's a valuable skill whether you're still in school or in the workforce. Learning how to deliver a good presentation is never a bad idea. Whether you're a first-timer or a seasoned pro, there's always room to improve your presentation skills. In this module, we'll learn about some of the key components of a good presentation, as well as online presentations and how they differ from in-person. Whether online or in-person, the key elements of an effective presentation remain the same. Give your presentation a great title. This will spark your audience's interest and set the stage for your entire presentation. Keep it simple. You want your presentation to be accessible and easy to follow. This will prevent your audience from losing interest or getting lost along the way. Ask yourself, what are the key points you want people to take away from your presentation? Include personal touches. You can win over your audience with personal anecdotes or crafty jokes. Laughter can help you connect with your audience and bring your presentation down to a more relatable level. Use impactful visual aids. If a concept can be supported or more easily explained with a visual aid, use them in your presentation. Infographics, charts, photos, videos, or animations help to break up the monotony of a presentation and force your audience to move their eyes and re-engage with your content. Be aware of design techniques and trends. Keep your presentation stimulating and appealing without overwhelming the audience with bright colors or too much text. Prepare and practice. Rehearsing is the number one tool to creating a great presentation. The more prepared you are, the more comfortable you will be. Practice in front of a mirror or record yourself to perfect your timing, voice, and body language. Tech knowledge. Being familiar with your technology helps you prepare for your presentation and gives you the confidence to handle any technical difficulties when they arise. For some, presenting in front of an audience can be nerve-wracking and scary, but many of us have handled in-person presentations before and generally know what to expect. Presenting online requires some additional skills and can make even a seasoned presenter feel anxious. A virtual presentation requires a bit of multitasking as you suddenly need to juggle delivering your speech, sharing screen content, managing the chat window, and troubleshooting technical difficulties. Luckily, more conferencing software takes this all into account and makes presenting easy, or at least easier. How do online presentations differ? For starters, you can get comfortable. Presenting virtually means that you can choose where you will deliver your presentation, which means that you can create a comfortable and more relaxed environment. Presenting virtually shifts the feeling from everyone is watching you and instead places the emphasis on the presentation itself. Your audience is distracted. Through no fault of your own, while presenting virtually, your audience may become distracted by other factors, such as working on other material, sending emails, or eating. So, capturing and retaining your audience's attention is paramount. Your voice is key. Body language will not be as important as your voice, because you will not be as visible to your audience. As a result, you'll want a good microphone setup and you'll need to speak slowly and clearly. Make sure you choose words that will help you persuade or motivate your audience. Remember, it's okay if you're nervous. That's completely normal. In fact, those jitters are your body's way of preparing. With these tips, you should be ready to give your best presentation yet. Take a look at the rest of the presentations module on the learning portal to get more in-depth looks into the topics covered in this video.